Dylan just made a very great point. Uh, just wanted to add this uh, before we close off. But he says, happiness versus joy is like falling in love versus choosing to love. Mm-hmm. And that's love part, that. Love this that. is what I'm. But I've been saying this like not like this. You guys are wording it much better. But like again, I'm gonna choose to show up at this podcast every time. I'm consistent mm-hmm. with it. Are you gonna choose to show up to me every time, even when it's hard? That's what I've been saying. Mm-hmm. I ain't said like you guys, but like that's my point. I feel like and yeah, it's it's scary. I think that's the 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 scariest part because I'm gonna show up day and out. I'm here. The moment I give God my word, I'm here. No matter what comes with it, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, are you willing to be committed like that? That's a hard ask. That's a hard ask. And that ain't something that that sh- should be like. Like, that's hard. That's why I'm like, that's why I said is is a big this is conversation is 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 hard for me because it's like, bro, like, you can't. Why is it so hard for you though? Not because hard, I, not I'm hard. like, I'm watching how passionate you got. I'm like, nigga, you're gonna marry me, so I'm, I'm confused. Saying, like, what are you actually like? No, what no. are you feeling? Like, because I'm just but because again, at the I'm end of the day, I'm trying to like follow nah, you. No, nah. no. So what I'm saying is, I'm passionate because you are the woman I'm about to marry. I'm marrying, right? You are that person, right? God is still God, of course. And I just had a conversation with you um, a few episodes back about right. how just being scared with that. Well, what about just like choosing faith, right? Uh, choosing right. Uh, just just following God every right. day, right. right? So if I'm, but I'm still going to do it, right? And that's what I think separates me from everybody else. And this is what this is what happens because we come with self self awareness. We talk about um, we get wrapped, wrapped up soon. I got y'all. We talk about being faithful, right? And I said, I was telling Alex, it's. I don't wear that on my on my arm because it's easy, right? Like certain, like I feel like some people can be faithful because it's easy. That's kudos to them. It was never easy for me because I always was the guy that got what I wanted, right? If it was easy, cool, everybody could do it. It's like to paint a picture, right? It's like we had a conversation about guy, a guy that give a girl a lot of money when he's rich, but the guy that don't have a lot that give a girl a lot of money, it means more. Right? I feel like it means more because I always was in positions to have my way. I chose not to have my way for love, joy. That I made that decision because this is what I want. Although temptations present itself all the time, I decide not to indulge in that because I'm strong in it. But because we're human, I'm thinking about the other side. Not it might not be again. That's just for me. But like, yeah, I'm gonna choose to be here every day. When through the through hell, sickness, and death, I'm gonna choose to do that. I can't really speak for another person. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's it's, it's passionate because I, we talk about podcasts, right? People, why you choose to do interviews? Because I can depend on me. That's why I decided to do interviews. I don't gotta depend on nobody else. I can depend on me, right? And that's just who I am. So when we talk about marriage, like I gotta, I'm I'm kind of give I'm, I'm loving you like I love God. That's I'm I'm true, I'm loving you like I love God unconditionally. I've never seen God in my life, but I believe He exists. Exists. I read the Bible about Him every day. I'm loving you. It's, that's, I think that's I never even thought about it. I'm really loving you like I love God, and that's shit. I, it's like, Come on, man. Are we talking for real? Like, it's that's a walk of faith. Yeah. That's a walk. That's like, sheesh. Something, something about your standpoint is bothering me. I don't know what it is. I I think it's the I think it's the straightforwardness of it. Mm. I, because a lot of times people aren't having these conversations. And it sounds, it sounds uncomfortable. And me talking about it, I'm passionate because we're having the conversation. But I can I can see how it's it sound a lot of things I'm saying people won't say. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like potentially. I don't it's not what you're saying that's incorrect. It's just the I conviction? Don't know. I don't know. It's I don't I don't know. I don't wanna miss well, no, I love, it. I, first of all, if anything, <laughs> let me not be an asshole. If you was to get what I think what I would if you was to get what I would like you to get from it, it would be the opposite. I'm going to tell you why. 
What do you because mean? Because I'm so convicted on loving you for who you are. You should know that that's what you have. Say that again. I didn't understand that. So if I if I had to give you the feeling that I want you, the takeaway that I would want you to take away from this okay. is at least you know somebody that's loving you no matter what, through thick and thin. Okay. That's what I think. That's what I'm trying to convey. Okay. Right? So if I had to give you that. I appreciate that clarity on it. Because I think, like, I think what it is, and uh, I'm still trying to get it all up. I think uh, the when you say it the way you're saying it, it's almost like you are. This is going to be the wrong word, but follow me. It almost sounds like a threat. Like, I'm loving you through thick and thin. I can't trust what you're doing, but I, but just know I'm doing it. It sounds like. Not a threat, but it sounds like, why are you, like, you don't have to bully me into it. Like, you don't have to do that. And I feel like if you truly feel that way, you could feel that way. Like, it's like, I'm doing, it's, it's, it's almost like a rest and easy. Like, I'm doing, like, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You get what I'm trying to say? But a part of it, the way it's being conveyed is like, I can't trust what nobody's doing. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And, and, and it almost be like, so you better be doing what you're doing. Instead of like. And I feel like when I when when I think about love is, I love you. Mm -hmm. The rest ain't up to me. I ain't got nothing else to say. So I think like it makes me uncomfortable, not because it's straightforward. It makes me uncomfortable because it's giving like, it doesn't. Are you overcompensating when you're saying it, or, or do you really feel like I love you? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not to say it like you don't love me, but like when you you when you're saying it with so much conviction and passion. As if it almost feels like you're overcompensating for the fact like, listen, I'm working real hard to, to love you this way. So you better love me back. And I don't think to me when I think about love, I don't think about it in that way. Which is why I intentionally, I'm going to be honest with you, which is why I intentionally, I'm not saying it back to you. I'm not, I'm not going to say, no, I am. I am. No, I'm not. Because I'm resting and easy. I already know what I'm doing. God knows what I'm doing. You get what I'm trying to say? So I, I intentionally wasn't saying it back, and I, and you said it so many times, and I understood what you were trying to get at, but a part of me, I'm not saying that you're wrong, but a part of me feels like, why are you so convicted? If the, if you truly love somebody and you truly are, are are walking with God, then you know that God God has it covered. Why are you so convicted? All right, so, again, we've been transparent in this conversation. This is a really, really vulnerable conversation right now. I'm letting you know right now. Yeah, we had 140. Bro. And this might come off wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm still questioning God. Okay, fair enough. So, and I'm just being, trying to be straight. Why wouldn't I question anything else? Okay. But I say that to say, so one, you said I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of uh, intentionally not saying it back. That's not nice, in a way of I'm opening a safe to my deepest fears. I'm expressing my deepest fears. And because you're bothered by the way it's coming out, I won't put you at ease. And granted, you can't do that, right? But I feel like that's a, un, that's a lot of times that happen in relationships where it's like you, someone is saying what's wrong and I guess it's not hitting home to the other side. And... Instead of you putting that person at ease, like you stand firm in it. Like um, we used to have a conversation about uh, planning somebody insecurities, and some some people would say that ain't my fault. You shouldn't be insecure. But why 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 would you want to continue to have somebody insecure? That's not fair. Like if somebody is insecure, you should as a partner you should want them to feel happy. You should want them to feel at ease. Right. So if I'm expressing my deepest fears and all it takes for you to be like, bae, I'm never going to do that. Why not say that? Can I answer? Because you're not saying it's an insecurity. You're convicted. I know me. I'm self-aware. You never once said it was an insecurity. You said you said, I'm not going to lie. You was like, I would know I, you. It, this this wasn't your fear. Your fear earlier. You were saying divorce, divorce. All this came right. from. That, that's fine. It came from divorce, but that was, we already passed that. 
here you explain multiple times that I'm self-aware. Mm-hmm. I know me. Mm-hmm. I know me. I know what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? To me, it's coming off. It's not coming off as an insecurity. You look like you are standing in what you're saying. And I, and it's not that I can't reassure you. It's just that it's not coming off as an insecurity to me. And I'm telling you as well, which does happen in a relationship. So like you're saying, like it's really an insecurity of why you're saying it this way. Now you're saying it's an insecurity, right? But when you're Not also, an insecurity, a, a fear. Fear, that insecurity right, so was divorce an example. is a fear. The insecurity was an example. Right, right. Divorce is your fear, mm-hmm. right? But what I'm talking about is your or the lack of commitment. Not really divorce. So mine was commitment that we got to. Mm-hmm. Mine was commitment, right? Yours was divorce, right? We're clarifying now, like you know what I'm saying, that this is a part of, but when I'm thinking we're just talking, I'm just thinking, well, I'm just talking to what you're saying mm-hmm. specifically, Pastor, because we're hour and 40 in. Like, so we're talking about, to me, we're talking about this specific spot, right? And through the specific spot, you're saying, like, I know me. I'm self-aware. I know what I'm going to do. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, like, I know what I'm going to do. So all I'm saying is, I hope you doing what you're doing. And I'm telling you the same way, like you're saying, it happened in a relationship. I'm telling you it's coming off like a threat. Okay. You get what I'm trying to say? So it doesn't sound like, hey, this is an insecurity of mine. Like, I, I feel like I'm going to be doing this. You get what I'm trying to say, and I, I and I don't know if you're going to be doing that. And I, even when I said, I said I stopped the po- like in the middle of the podcast. I said, why do you keep saying it like that? Like I said, are you talking to the viewers? Or are you talking to me? Because at first, like I, I I was following your point and you and understanding where you were trying to go, but you were like, because I know, like it was so convicted. I'm like, are you speaking to me? Because I'm right here. And that's why I said, you marrying me. I said it. I said, so why do you keep saying it like that? Because you marrying me. So it's coming off like a threat. So it's not that I wasn't trying to soothe the insecurity. I didn't understand it to be an insecurity. Because clarity in that conversation and that spot did not seem like, one, an insecurity. I, like, I felt your confidence in it. You get what I'm trying to say? I didn't feel it to be a fear on that point. Divorce is a fear for a plethora of reasons as we're going through. But I didn't know this attached to it was the same thing. So it's not that I can't ease it. It's just that I'm still trying to figure out, again, why, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, like that's why I say it's something about it is bothering me because, I, like, and it's not that I'm keep intentionally keeping it up to you because it's bothering me. I'm intentionally keeping it up to you because I'm not trying to threaten you because I feel like I'm, like, I don't know. It just feels like, it just feels like, you know what I'm saying? To me, we're supposed to be talking to the viewers. So what's already understood, we get married. So... Obviously, I made my decision. I say yes. You know what I'm trying to say? So I'm not like, I know what I'm going to do. Like, I already, I, I, you know what I'm saying? So when you first said, like, I know that ain't us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not talking about us. Like, I, I sat back because it's like, you ain't talking about us. But then when you keep saying and convicted, you are talking about us. You know what I'm trying to say? So I'm, I guess I'm confused on the stance. So I can't reassure you if I'm confused. And I also can't reassure, reassure you if I also don't understand it's an insecurity. It's not an insecurity. Again, it's a fear. Insecurity was an example. Uh, I think, I don't know. We got lost in transition somewhere because Alex presented a question and I was staring on my answer. I, like it never came, the energy never was towards you. It was really a question that was presented and I had a strong feeling on it. Yeah. But if you take it as me threatening you, uh, I can apologize for me... Cause I want to say something. I want to apologize, be genuine in my apology. I can apologize for not reading the room and understanding where we are having the conversation. Cause I am with my fiance, right? So I can be firm in that, 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 that stance, but maybe not in this forum, maybe not in this setting. Right, because it could be, it could look, it could easily be looked another way, what you've done. So I apologize for misreading the room in that way. I, it's still a fear, right? With all that being said, I, I I propose to you with hopes that that won't happen, right? So I don't think that you're just going to not be committed to me like I'm not committed to you. I just know how hard commitment can be and how easy. I make it look sometimes, right? And because I make it look easy, I want you to understand in the most respectful, loving manner that just because I make it look easy doesn't always come easy. 
and I intentionally love you every day, right? I think that's the message that I wanted you to get, right? It's not the the how it got delivered was really just in the passion of the conversation because that's how I feel. Because a lot of times I can, I, you see, I, I made the example, I compare it to my podcast a lot because a lot of times I'm rewarded or applauded for the things I'm doing, but people don't understand the hard work that's putting into it. Same with this. Even to the to, to the young men out there, this isn't a cakewalk, but we put work into making this. We put sweat and tears into loving each other. You get what I'm saying? And sometimes, I ain't, sometimes, sometimes it's frustrating because people think it's easy. And like, this is crazy. <laughs> this is real, bro. It's real. Sometimes people can get so lost in other people that they have no idea, like, the work that niggas is putting in, right? And I don't ever want that to get lost about me and my relationship, right? Because it's something that I work hard for, just like my podcast, just as much if not more than my podcast. And I love what I do. I love it probably more than anything except for my relationship, right? And that's why I'm so convicted. But just like God, like I say, I like I don't say I question God because I don't wear it on the sleeve. I question it because I am going hard and I'm 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 fighting so hard to know the truth. And I don't want to get to the end of the, the road and everything that I fought for wasn't true. Same way, that's why I kept comparing it to my podcast and God. That these are things that I fight for on a daily basis. You feel me? This ain't something that I'm just picking up and putting down. And I want you. I want it to be the same on the other end. Not saying it's not, but that's for all of it. I'm not just doing this for fun. This ain't a hobby. I'm not just going to church because I want to make because I wanted to sound good. It ain't for everybody. It's for my my life at the death. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm, I'm convicting it because I mean it. Right. So that's why I say I apologize for not not re misreading the room because it was coming off as if I was talking to my homie which I kind of was when it's really about us. So I apologize for that for sure. Um, thank you for apologizing and for clarifying that. Um, uh, I probably started to get a little um, just... Not offended, but just like, you know what I mean? Like the same way, you like you're like, oh, you know, I got this. I'm convicted. I'm like, you know, I'm here. Why you like? Why are you so convicted? Mm -hmm. I apologize for that for sure. Nah, like hey. You know, um I think I just want people to understand like it's hard, you feel me? And like anything worth having is, is hard. So whom much is given, much is required, you know what I'm saying? And outside of all of the cliche stuff, oh yeah, you can just bring it. Yeah, just bring it. Thank you. I think um just going back to divorce, I feel like people aren't fighting hard enough. I, sorry. This is the vulnerability, the conversation that we just had, full circle moment. It just speaks to the growth. I mean, I think for us to have this conversation, it's a heavy conversation to begin with. Um, but yeah, I spoke your truth. I spoke your vulnerability. But more importantly, in the end of it, we put a bow on it, right? It's not about, we understand the problem, but I can see in the passion 
from both sides just now that you both are doing the work. And I think that's what matters at the end of this, at the end of all of this, at the end of all of these conversations, it's a matter of, you know, you both know where we stand. You know, you know, you know where you stand, you know where you stand. And the whole time you were talking about questioning, it made me think of, again, got to keep on going back to the Bible, right? And I'm not trying to overwhelm anybody with it, but we talk about Matthew 17, verse 20, where it says, if you have faith, as small as a mustard seed. Mm. And when you talk about a mustard seed, it's like the smallest, smallest like yeah. bro, like the smallest seed ever. You can say to this mountain, move from here and there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Mm. And when you talk about like the doubt that still people have at times and you wrestle with, and it's like, I'm questioning this. I think that God is so big that he can take that into consideration. Mm. He doesn't need you to have a hundred percent faith. And it's just like, it's just a month, a, just like with the podcast, enough faith to step over the line and say, I'm going to do it. Enough faith to step over and bit, take a bended knee and say, I'm going to marry this woman and so on and so forth. I think we pressure faith in the aspect of we need to know a hundred percent clarity. And I find beauty in this moment because y'all are walking on faith by even doing this in addition to marriage and having a podcast, being a uh, parent and everything in that capacity and your vulnerability. So all of this in the conversation, the reason why divorce is happening is because this isn't happening. Mm. These conversations are not happening. These mediations are not happening. You don't get to apologies. You just in real time stood on man time to say, bro, I didn't mean it that way. Vice versa. That doesn't happen. That's why they say in the Bible, do not go to sleep angry or do not let the sun go down and, and you're angry and, and to resolve all of those issues. I just paraphrase and mess it up a little bit, but you know what I was trying to go with it. These are the things when we talk about the topic at hand, what we just saw in the midst of the entire conversation is what causes success. And I think what we have to find in the relationship is the ability to just try to do it every day. Mm. It may not be every day. It might be every other day. But the simple fact of coming to the place of this is what relationship looks like. Vulnerability, love, intimacy, and trying every goddamn day. Mm. And that is literally what we saw just in the essence of this episode. But yeah, just want to give y'all your flowers. Oh, man, this is good, man. I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I ain't about to get that. Yo, that was embarrassing. I'm going to chop that part out. But look. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> We're posting that tonight, man. Dylan said I'm not. <laughs> what you mean?